Just got done seeing a Paul Simon himself. He actually ended up playing two songs for us. So here are the clips. What's up guys, we're back for another week, another weekly vlog, and back on a Sunday. You might notice that I am dressed in a tie and a dress shirt, and I'll have a suit jacket on later. Well, there's a reason for that, believe it or not. Today, we're having our last um, ritual for the fraternity I'm in, so we're gonna a whole bunch of new candidates today that will now be brothers of my fraternity, so that's exciting. And later, we're gonna go get some good Mexican food, like we always do. It's gonna be a great time. I'm gonna try to take you guys with me as much as possible. Not sure what today's gonna hold. Yeah, it's gonna be lit. Thanks for coming with me. Enjoy the vlog. We're back, another day. It's Monday. Got a smudge. Oh no. Hey. Okay, we're back. Boom. It's a nice, beautiful day. Uh, weather update, it's 53 degrees, which is kind of warm out, so I have my windows open. Just chilling in my room. I can't show you the rest of my room because it's filthy. You're a little nasty. It is gross, so we're just gonna keep it to this wall right here. I'm actually about to edit last week's vlog right now. I gotta at least get started. I'm honestly not anticipating having it done by today, but we're gonna see. I'm at least gonna have it done tomorrow. We're gonna try, because I have a pretty good study period tomorrow, which is a few hours long that I usually take. Um, so I should be able to get it done then. So we're gonna aim for that. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Just wanted to kind of come on here as a little update. This is what we're doing today. Tonight, got banned. We got a um, Kappa Kappa Psi meeting per usual on a Monday. Tomorrow is the day. I'm gonna go listen to Paul Simon speak, which is super exciting. So if that's what you're interested in, it's probably gonna be the title of this video because I anticipate that being the most exciting thing to happen this week because that's pretty exciting because I really enjoy Paul Simon. And, I'm sure you do too, especially if that's the reason you clicked on this video. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to meet him or not. I'd really like to. I had a chance to submit questions, but I honestly just could not think of any questions that were like super important and pressing, so I just, uh, I'm going to leave that to other people that are going to be there. So if we get to meet him, that's going to be pretty freaking sick. That's what I got planned. I'm going to go edit. I totally forgot. Last night, I didn't really end that day, so I came home last night after our um, ritual. We ended up going to a Mexican restaurant afterwards, per usual, like we do every year. And that was great. But man, when I got home, I just had the biggest headache ever. And I ended up going to sleep. And like, I literally took a nap before taking a shower and going to bed. It was kind of weird. So I, I literally just came home, laid down, kind of relaxed watching YouTube videos here and there, and then fell asleep. Set an alarm for like 11.30 so I could wake up and get a shower, and then go back to bed, essentially, is what happened. A pretty boring night. I just felt like taking a break. I was like, ah, oh, there's nothing that I can't just say tomorrow. So here we are. Okay, now I'll see you in the next clip. The next day. Hello, guys. We are back. I'm home. Just got done seeing a Paul Simon himself talk in a little panel. They did like a little panel of Q&A, which is really cool. Paul Simon talked a lot about his life. Um, the whole purpose was to kind of talk to people involved with music and music majors and people in the school of music in general about his life in music and about how he got started and stuff like that. He started out talking about it just, he basically went from like beginning of music career, like as a kid and stuff like that to more of his popular, like when he like peaked in the music industry and stuff like that. So um, he started off talking about how he got involved, like how his father was involved with music when he was young. He had, he, um, him when he was younger he had like zero interest in music his brother was like the one that was like going to be the big music guy so like it was really interesting kind of like learning about how, how he grew up and uh his inspirations and like all the different artists he's collaborated with over his life it was just really cool getting to like see him and be in the same room as him and hearing him talk he actually ended up playing two songs for us Unfortunately, I'm not really familiar with the two songs he played. I'm sure you might be if you're watching this and you're a big Paul Simon fan. So I'm gonna put little clips here in a minute. So I did not bring a Canon. I did bring my phone, so they're kind of low quality. We actually were fortunate enough to get this in the fourth row. So we were relatively really close comparatively to everybody else. So that was awesome. So here are the clips. Experience of my musical. The hour will hold us, move the cardboard blankets. 
As you can see, um, he's still fantastic. He still sounds great. His guitar playing is just beautiful. So yeah, not a lot, but that's pretty much what my day is. Like that's, I literally skipped a class in order to go see him today. I'm gonna end this day here, unless something crazy happens. I got to go see Paul Simon. So that's probably gonna be the name of this, <laughs> this vlog. So yeah, very neat, great experience. See you in the next clip. Hello, we are back. We are back. It has been a few days. To be honest, I'm not sure what the last thing I filmed was. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. I think I was talking about the Paul Simon thing. But anyway, I'm home. I just got off work. Worked for a few hours today and yesterday. So the reason I'm, I took such a gap in between the last clip and this clip, shut up refrigerator. Thank you. It's really because um, there just wasn't much going on, to be honest, not a whole lot. Um, that like needed to be expressed. So I decided I'm just gonna come on now and explain to you what's happened over the past few days. So I am on the mailing list for um, Panic at the Disco and their concerts and stuff and I get all these emails all the time about like what they're up to and stuff. I'm, walk I'm pacing, look at me. You can tell I'm talking, this is what I do on the phone too. But anyway, anyway, focus. I got the promo code for the mailing list for their concert tour that they're going on this summer. Um, they're coming to Nationwide Arena here in Columbus. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna use the promo code. I'm gonna go and get some tickets. Um, this would be great. I, I, so for the record, I've seen them twice already. Wow. I saw them once my sophomore year of high school, so like in 2013. And then I saw them last year. I think it was in the springtime they came to Columbus. So only a year ago when I last saw them, essentially I went and tried to get the tickets and they just would not load. Nothing was loading like I couldn't look at the tickets through my promo code or anything The only tickets I could see were the um, the resale tickets that like people buy good seats and they jack up the prices like immensely So it was like nine thousand dollars for front row for like front you're not front row, but like front area seat like standing seats standing seats Standing seats that don't make no sense and it was nuts so I was like, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> the last times I've been to see them, it was like a little over 50 bucks per ticket. So I was like, definitely not paying over 200 or 100 at this case. I was like, I just gave up hope. I was like, you know what? My neighbors are talking. <laughs> hope they can hear me. So um, anyway, but anyway, but anyway. So I just like eventually gave up. I was like, you know, what? I guess it's just not meant to be this time. I guess I'm not going to see them. But later last night, it was just, this was all just yesterday. Um, later that night, I ended up being like, you know what, I'm just gonna go look to see like what sort of tickets they still have left. And so, um, sure enough, they actually had some good seats. They had them in the balcony. I ended up getting seats pretty close to the stage, in the balcony still, but the front row of the balcony. I'm using my hands, you can't see. The seats I ended up getting were actually pretty good and they were relatively cheap. I ended up selling one to a friend and we're gonna go in July, so that's what I'm up to. <laughs> Get ready for that Panic at the Disco concert in July. I doubt I'll be able to bring this camera in here, but I might get a little bit of footage from my iPhone. So that's what I've been up to. I'm just gonna use this as an opportunity to close up the vlog for the week. It's been a great week, very productive week. Gotta work tomorrow at 8 a.m. It's already 10.30 almost, so I gotta go eat and go to bed. <laughs> Have a great day. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great day, all the tenses. So go ahead and go ahead and click the like button down there. It looks just like this but it's down there. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. It looks like this. So, okay, enough of the silliness. Go watch the last week's vlogs as well. See ya in the next vlog or the next video or the next whatever. Bye.